Welcome back to my channel, everybody. My name is Rick Bork. If you haven't seen my channel before, come on, man. Anyway, we're up here at the farm today, and our project for today, one of them, is we gotta build a manure bucket for the skid steer. So we have an old manure bucket for the tractor, but it doesn't fit on the skid steer because that was the pin style, and we gotta convert it to cook tatch plate style. So, here's what we got. You can see here, we got the, the old pins where your loader arm would go on the bottom, your hydraulic cylinder would go on the top. That doesn't work. So we picked up the quick attach plate over here. You can see it's the universal style. So it will fit on both applications. It's got slots for your wider application and a hole for your narrower application. I already pre-checked the size on this thing. And we'll fit in between these outer brackets on there. So what we're going to do so we're going to come in here, we're going to cut this inner bracket off on each side, along with this top piece. And then we're going to slide the new plate in behind it, behind these, um, this outside plate. We're going to slide it in behind there, and then we're going to weld it across the top here. So, let's get the torch out and get to cutting. inside and I do in fact know how to grind a weld so now I know that plates gonna have to come up behind these two spacers so we're gonna have to bring it in from the bottom hopefully I measured correctly so let's see if this thing will fit in there clamped into place. I'm going to fire up the welder. We're going to get it tacked in here. And then this piece, this plate comes up about three inches above the back of the bucket. And there's a little bit of a gap here. So I think at some point we're going to put some webbing in here. I just don't want the chance of that plate bending backwards if I'm trying to lift a pretty heavy chunk of manure with this bucket or something like that. Just haven't quite decided if we're going to build a grapple for this bucket yet or not. So if we do that, we'll do it in another video. So let's get to welding this thing up. All right, folks. So we finished welding the plate on the back of the bucket over here. As you can see, when we come down here to take a look, you can see we got it welded on. We didn't weld that all the way across because structurally you're not going to need that going to be a waste of welding around. Right now the bucket's upside down. Let's flip this thing over and give you a look at it. We're going to do a couple more things to this bucket. So I was just going to put that plate on there and let her go, but we got a bunch more stuff I got to do because it's just the way I am. I'm not going to get picky about grinding welds because I'm not like that. But 
we are going to add a grapple and we got to make some tines for this thing. So let's flip this over and I'll give you a look and then we'll wrap up this video. We'll do the other stuff in another part. All right, so there you can see how that's going to look. If we come around here, you'll notice we have a bent tine here. We got a missing tine over there. So we're going to replace these center four tines. Well, they're all kind of tweaked a little bit. So we're going to make some tines for it. And uh, we'll show you guys how we do that in another video. And I think we're going to add a grapple to this. I'm going to price out the materials and the steel and the hydraulic cylinder for it. And if it's not extremely expensive, we're going to build grapple for this thing. I just don't know how much the plate steel is for yet. Hydraulic cylinder is only like 80 bucks, so I ain't too worried about that. I probably got one laying around here. So. That's it for part one. And the reason we're not going to add webbing to the top of this plate, between the plate and the bucket, is because the brackets that we put on for the grapple will cover that span and make up that difference. So that is it for part one. I do appreciate you guys watching. Please like and subscribe. Come back for parts two and three where we make some signs and put a grapple on this thing. Thanks for watching, guys.